Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be discussing some stocks that I am personally invested in and I think have really great growth potential for the rest of 2019 as well as for several years to come and I think would be great additions to your portfolio. The first stock on this list is MasterCard, which has increased by 268% in the last five years with their stock price. And a lot of people don't know how Visa and MasterCard actually work, and how they work is they get a tiny transaction fee from handling the um, transaction between the vendor and the bank. And then we can also see Visa here with 239% growth in the last five years. Um, you really have to do your own research, but I would recommend these stocks, even though I am no expert. You can also see that there's been some pretty low volatility in the last five years with these stocks and some very steady growth, which is definitely something I like to look for in my growth investments. Next up, I just wanted to take a look at this chart, which is a huge reason why MasterCard and Visa are doing so well, and it's that just in 2018, the um, debit card payments surpassed cash payments and that's pretty much a worldwide thing and I know this says for UK payments um, and it's showing UK payment estimates for several years to come but I'm assuming that it's somewhat similar for Europe and the US and just the rest of the world is going to follow uh, those as well. And that gets me into my next stock, which is PayPal, which has seen 185% growth in less than the last five years because they just had their IPO a little over four years ago. Now, PayPal also owns Venmo, and what these two platforms do is they allow uh, users to easily send money between one another, and this is also great for small businesses. And what this does is take away um, some of the business from huge corporate banks, which is trillions and trillions of dollars worth of mark market cap. So I think there's tons of uh, room for growth between PayPal, Venmo, and the other companies that PayPal owns as well. The next one on this list is probably one you have not heard of, and it's Take-Two Interactive Software, which has seen by far the best growth in the last five years on this list at 504% growth. And I've actually been waiting for pullback on this stock for about the last two or three months. And as you can see, they have just seen steady growth, almost 30% up in just the last three months. And I've really been waiting to invest in this one, but I haven't gotten the chance yet. And if you didn't know, Take-Two Interactive Software is one of the video game publishing stocks out there. And I think these publishing stocks for video games are actually doing extremely well as a whole. And I actually think Take-Two Interactive is the best one out there right now. And I definitely recommend it and I'm trying to start investing in it right now. If you are at all interested in investing in video game stocks, you should also look into Tencent, uh, EA, Activision, uh, Glue, just to name a few. And they've seen extremely great growth in the last 5, 10, 15 years. Uh, and that's because, as you can see here, arcade, games, console, handhold, PC, mobile, and just recently virtual reality games have really started taking off. And because all of these different platforms for video games are seeing so much revenue, uh, all of these stocks are seeing great growth and they will almost definitely continue to for years to come. Next up is Alibaba with 85% growth on the last five years, which is not as strong as most of the other stocks on this list. And I've actually done videos on all of the other stocks on this list if you do want to go check those out, which I highly recommend if you are interested in investing in any of these stocks. Alibaba is the biggest e-commerce company in Asia right now, so if you are investing in Alibaba, it's kind of similar to just betting on the growth of market cap and companies in Asia as a whole, which I completely believe in, and with just the growth we've seen in the last several years, you can um, definitely tell that this e-commerce company is almost definitely going to do extraordinarily well. And another extremely exciting thing about Alibaba is that they're going to do an 8 to 1 stock split within the next year. And just very quickly, if I were to own one share of Alibaba now, it would split the stock price in eight and I would own eight shares after the stock price, after the stock split, which would increase the stock price dramatically, um, most likely. I'm sorry, this chart is a little bit small and a little blurry, but I thought it was definitely worth mentioning. It shows the top 10 countries by market cap. And as you can see, China, Japan, Hong Kong, and India are on here. And China has seen 15% percent hundred uh, change in their market cap uh, since 2003 and that's just since 2016 um, this is a few years old now and then india as well at 639 percent and if we were to look at that for 2019 china would be over 2000 percent and india well over a thousand percent by now so definitely betting on the success of india and china china with alibaba in my opinion with that e-commerce company 
And the last on this list that I wanted to mention is Microsoft with 205% growth in the last five years. And this is actually the biggest market cap company in the world right now. And this five-year chart actually looks the best, in my opinion, out of all of these charts, except for possibly take to Interactive, I suppose, um, just because there has been such steady growth and such little pullback with this growth stock. And if you're investing in Microsoft, you're not just investing in Windows, like a lot of people think of Microsoft as, but you're also investing in Bing, Xbox, and Microsoft Office, and Word, and PowerPoint, which is a necessity for companies and schools all over the world. So Microsoft, a very great blue chip company and the biggest market cap out there, uh, very safe investment and very great growth potential still for many years to come and even decades to come. Again, I did make videos on all of the stocks in this video except for Alibaba, so please do come check those out if any of the ones I mentioned in this video piqued your interest. It's also definitely worth noting that I'm no stock expert, so you definitely do need to do your own research before making any big investment decisions, and please subscribe for more content if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.